Want to know how to get your indoor fern dense and fuller? Watch till the end to find out all the tips and tricks for achieving it. Number 1. Set the fronds free. While growing ferns, make sure their fronds have enough room to grow and spread. Avoid keeping the plant in a corner of a room or close to a wall where its growth can be hindered. Also, don't crowd it with other plants. The best is to either grow them in hanging baskets, which tenfolds the beauty, or pick a place where they have at least two to four feet of open space on all sides to spread freely. Number two, give them wings. No, we're not talking about Red Bull, but you need to feed them what they love to make them thrive. Use a 2010-20 liquid fertilizer diluted to quarter of its strength once every month in early spring to mid-autumn. This will ensure they keep their deep green color and stay lush. As these plants do not actively grow during the winter months, it'd be a good idea to stop feeding them during that time. Number three, take them to the bathroom. Being tropical plants, ferns love humidity, and what could be a better place than a bathroom with a big window to keep them lush and green? Ferns do best in humidity levels between 40 and 50%, and a washroom will take care of their humidity just right. Number four, let them have a feel of the tropics. Ferns do well in the temperature range of 60 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. They can handle down to 55 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Always keep them in a place above this temperature. Number five, keep them hydrated. Ferns absolutely love constant hydration. If you're someone who's always worried about getting your houseplants watered, the ferns are your best friend. The best way to ensure the plants look lush is always to keep the growing medium moist. Do not let it go completely dry between watering. Number six, do not let them steal the sun. Avoid placing the ferns in direct sunlight. It will bake their foliage and you won't have them as beautiful as you want. Choose a spot where they will get plenty of indirect and bright light all day. Number seven, don't strangle. Repotting the plant at the right time is the key to ensuring you don't end up strangling the roots, killing its growth. If you see the roots popping out of the drainage hole and notice the plant getting slightly elevated out of the soil, then it's time to give it a new home. The best time to repot the plant is in the spring. Also, make sure to use just one to two size bigger pot than the old one. Number eight, pick the right fern. The best one to go for is the Boston fern and its different types like Fluffy Duffy, Florida Ruffle, and Hawaiianesis. Rabbit's foot, kangaroo paw, maiden hair, crocodile, staghorn, lemon button, and silver brake are some of the best ferns you can grow indoors. Number nine, group or divide the plants. After you get a large plant from the nursery, it would be a good idea to divide it. Make divisions and grow them in the same pot to make the plant look bigger and bushier. You can also group different types of ferns to make them stand out in the room. Number 10, its real beauty lies in the way you display it. If you really want to make your ferns stand out in the room, then make sure you display it right. Use a bright and colorful pot that matches its vivid fronds. You can also use a tall plant stand to help its fronds tangle down beautifully. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.